Hello, John Elder again with another video on our component series. This video will cover the RTC fan speed controller that we use on some of our fans with EC motors. I will cover standard operations and programming of the controller. Let's start by looking at the speed controller itself. Upon power up, the controller will display the letter P and a number, which is the speed setting. The speed setting is a percentage from 0 to 100. So in this example, my controller is showing P90, so the motor would run at 90%. Once the motor is started, the display will flash back and forth between the set point and the motor RPMs. If your display flashes between the set point and off, it means the controller is not receiving a feedback signal from the motor for RPMs, so it thinks the motor is stopped. The controller will, however, continue to send an output speed signal and run the motor even though it's not receiving the feedback. Looking at the back of the controller you can see that there are input terminals for 24 volts AC to power the controller, a 0 to 10 volt DC output terminal, a ground terminal, and a 0 to 10 volt DC input terminal. There are also two plugs, one for use with a NIDEC motor and one for telco motors. Care should be taken to ensure that these plugs get plugged in correctly. If they're plugged in upside down, the motors will not run. Now let's cover programming. Navigating the programming is very simple. Push and hold the center button on the controller until the display changes. Then up or down buttons to cycle through the available menus. And left and right buttons to enter and exit a menu. To change a menu setting after entering, the up and down buttons will cycle through your options. And your option will be saved when you press the left button to exit the menu. Once programming is complete, just leave the controller alone for several seconds and it will return to normal operations with the new settings. Now I'm going to take a closer look at each menu. The first menu is APP or Application. The options are FSC, Fan Speed Control, where the motor is plugged directly into the speed controller, or 0 to 10, which is a 0 to 10 volt DC output, which would make the speed controller send out a 0 to 10 volt DC output signal to be used to control a motor remotely. Remember, the left button will exit a menu you have entered, allowing you to move on to the next menu. The next menu is SP, which stands for set point. This is the speed setting that the motor will run at. The setting is a percentage from 0 to 100 percent, so a setting of set point of 50 would cause the motor to run at half speed. If all you need to do is change the speed, you can also just push the up or down buttons without entering the programming and change the speed, then the center button to save it. The next menu is LSPD, or Low Speed Limit. Setting this to 20, for example, will not let you run the motor slower than 20%. Just like Low Speed, the next menu, HSPD, is High Speed and works the same way. The next menu is TYP, or Type. This tells the controller what brand and type of motor you're trying to control. Your options here are NID for NIDEC motors, or TC42 for a Telco Model 42 motor, or TC48 for a Model 48 motor. The Telco model numbers can be found on the motor label. The next menu is RE. This stands for Remote. Your options here are to enable or disable, which will turn on or off the 0 to 10 volt DC input terminal. If enabled, the motor speed will be controlled by this signal, not the speed set point. This allows the speed controller to receive a 0 to 10 volt DC input signal, which will in turn control the motor speed. So if the controller received 5 volts DC on the input terminal, the motor would run at 50% of max. The last menu is VER, which stands for version. This only displays the software version the speed controller is programmed with. There are no changes in this menu. For more information or questions, you can call 1-866-784-6900 or email support at castservice.com.